I never went to the other prom, so I, I didn't like the fact that it was segregated. And, and when we first had our integrated prom, you know, I thought that was a great idea for us all to join together. And segregation was just nonsense. Is that why you didn't go to the other yes, prom? Yes, I didn't go to no prom because of it. I just, you know, I wasn't going to waste my time if I couldn't spend it with everyone. So. What did you think? I mean, I thought it didn't make sense, but I, I went to a segregated prom my junior year because I was the vice president of the committee. And at first I didn't really want to go, but I, I don't know, I made up my mind to go. But I thought it was crazy that they were separate. But well, why? why? Why was it that way? Whose idea was it? <laughs> it's pretty much the parents, you know. Like, my parents didn't want me going to a, a prom with black people or anything like that. They were just so racial. And, you know, it, it was hard for me to deal with because I had black friends. Did most people feel the way that you guys felt? Most, I mean... Most of our classmates did, and um, a lot of classes before us thought that it was silly, that they were separate, but, I mean, they never had the courage, I would say, or they never put enough, put forth enough effort to try to have it together. Did, but they thought it was nonsense. This happens. Uh, 2008, you had right. the very <laughs> first integrated prom. I mean, what was the, the reaction? Well, um... <laughs> There was so much drama and tension from, really, it wasn't, there was no black parents conflict. It was more the white parents, and there was another prom. So there was a white prom, and we had our integrated prom. So there was just so much drama going from one end to another. You said conflict, and, and you mentioned this. There was a separate white prom yes. in addition to this. They offered for me to go, and they offered to pay for everything. And I, they said they needed more seniors and stuff like that. And I didn't go. I just... I went to the meeting. I didn't like the way they were using words. But what words? What are you talking about? Be specific. Well, um, they use nigger and stuff like that. You know, just saying a, a nigger's not going to be grinding up on my daughter. How do you it, feel when you hear that? Uh, it's just like um, I like stabbing, stabbing my inside or something. When you just hear that people are so hateful and I mean about a prom about us being together in a room having a good time together for the last time it's just hurtful so what did you think what was the reaction when this all came about when we were sitting in the auditorium I know it was like a sigh of relief that finally this is happening and I was just excited and regardless of all the negativity that surrounded it I was happy and you talk about the parents again, but were black students and white students kind of divided in terms of their reaction to it, or was everybody pretty much on the same page? Well, at first it seemed like everybody was on the same page. Um, as you can see in the movie, Morgan asks, who doesn't want it? And nobody says no. But outside of that, there were a few mixed, you know, disagreements and I don't Arcanics know. I don't know. It's not going to happen for real. They didn't think it was really going to happen, right. but it did. Paul, let me bring you in here. Um, Chastity <laughs> just mentioned Morgan. We're talking mm -hmm. about Morgan Freeman. Mm -hmm. uh, explain to everybody how this came about, how HBO got involved, and how this turned into a movie. <laughs> and we started to shoot a documentary that is not the prom documentary, and we finished that documentary. And the day we finished shooting, we found out about the separate proms. And I was actually back home in Canada, and I called Morgan, and I said, is this true that there are segregated proms, and you had offered to pay for it, and no one would take you up on the offer? He offered to pay for the right. whole prom if it would be integrated. And he said, yes, that was 10 years ago. It was 1997. And I just said to him, is the offer still good? And there was this pause on the end of the phone, and he said, oh, okay. And the offer was put back on the table, and finally the school board and, and the parents agreed. Um, Chastity, Jessica, explain or, or, or give us a feel for, for prom day, the actual day, because you described the tension, and, and we've seen a little of the pictures in the video. What was that day like? Well, this is my first prom, so I was really excited, and it was so much fun, you know, getting dressed and picking out the outfits we're going to wear and doing our hair and makeup, but when I got there, I had butterflies. I didn't know, ex I didn't expect it to be as beautiful and as spectacular, and because, of course, Morgan paid for everything, and I, it just blew me out of the water. I had to do everything, hair, makeup, everything early, get dressed early. There was, like, this small mini photo shoot right before we left for prom, and we had to do that at everybody's house, so <laughs> that whole day was crazy. But when we finally got to prom and 
We were just letting loose and having fun and enjoying everybody's company. What is it about your town? Why is it taking so long for people there to catch up? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the old, the old school, like the old heads. You know, like there's more of who pays for the town and kind of how things are ran, and they don't want to, you know, it's kind of the it's, white people. I, I guess. think it's more of a power struggle. Yeah, exactly. You know, they don't want to. They want to be in control. Certain people want to be in control, and they don't. They want things to go their way or no way at all. They want it to be this way. Nothing can change. It's going to be the same. Nothing can change, and I think that's the problem. Do you think prom took a step toward at least changing views in your town? Yeah, I mean, it was a small step in some ways, and it was a big step in others, but I'm glad it happened, and I'm sure that as it continues, because, I mean, it has to continue, they can't just stop having it or say we're not going to do it this year or next year or whatever. They have to do it. Paul, do you think this film has the potential to, to really send a powerful message? I think so because Chastity and Jessica and others are just so open and courageous in the film and sharing what they're feeling. And by the way, Chastity and Jessica are a good example. They knew each other before the integrated prom, but they're now very close friends. And it just, it just happens, you know, when you're actually hanging out with people, that friendship, that barrier gets broken. Well, hopefully the time has come for real change. Yeah. Um, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jessica Shivers, Chastity Buckley, and, of course, Paul Saltz Saltzman. Um, many thanks to you guys for coming on, and good luck with this. Thank, Thank you very you. much.